from inside to square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the color of the social icons in the header of your Squarespace 7.1 website. Now again, these are the icons in the header of your website and the same icons that show up on your mobile menu when you have those enabled. So let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how this works. So here we are in my 7.1 demo site, and I have some social icons on the page down here to show you how those aren't going to be affected by what we're gonna do. What we're talking about are these icons at the very top. Now, if you don't know how to enable those, I'll show you right quick. You select edit, and then in edit the site header, the option that you have down here for elements. Here's where you can turn on your social links. You can edit those social links to be whatever pages you'd like, and you can adjust the size of those social links using that little option right there. So we're gonna stick with those. I'll go ahead and select save. Again, that was edit and then edit site header to add those social links. Assuming you got those ready to rock, let's talk about how to change that color. Now you can change the color of all the links in your navigation using your design menu. To get there, you'll go to design and then colors. And here we'll see this pop-up shows up immediately telling us what color theme our heading is set to. That color theme is what you're gonna wanna edit. So you see this little icon right here? If I click that, I'll be able to change the colors. Now, if I take a look at my navigation links, the second option right here, and change this to let's say that teal color that I like so much, you'll notice my pages have changed color as well as my social links. While that might be the effect you're going for, this is how you change it if it is, I just want to change the color of those social links, not my heading links. So I'm going to go back to the way that it was. I'm going to remove that. And what we need to do to change the color of just the icons is add some custom CSS. Now to get to your custom CSS section, you select design, and then you scroll down to custom CSS at the very bottom. And this is where we're going to paste the code that's beneath the video. The code that we need to use is period, I-C-O-N, dash, dash, fill, that's icon, fill, then the letters S-V-G. Then I'm gonna open up a bracket and I'm gonna type the text fill and then add the hex color code for what color I want it to change to. This is my way of saying, hey browser, you see these icons? I want you to change them to this color. But you'll notice nothing's happening. That's because I need to add an exclamation point and the word important. This is gonna force the browser to look at my code over that site design file. And you'll notice just adding that word, now my icons have changed color, but my links have stayed the same. That's icon fill SVG, and then you add the fill color that you want them to change to. Now let's take a look at my mobile menu. If we click on the mobile preview and then click on the menu, you'll see the icons have also changed color down there. Pretty cool, right? but the regular social icons on my page, those are still the same. If you wanna learn how to change those colors, I have a different tutorial for you. Link is beneath the video. But there's one last trick I'd like to show you about those header icons. Let's say you only want that color to show up when someone hovers over, uh, hovers over those icons with their cursor like this. What if we want the color to change right there? We can also do that with CSS. Right before that first curly bracket, I'm gonna add the text colon, hover and this is going to create what's known as a hover effect now when i hover my cursor over those icons they're going to change to that different color pretty cool right so again the code is beneath the video and whatever style you decide to apply just make sure you select save on the top left hand side when you're done and that'll be applied to your squarespace 7.1 website and that's it for this tutorial a nice quick one for today Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more about how to customize your 7.1 website, I have a ton of free tutorials on my blog at its71.com. That's its71.com for a bunch of other free tutorials just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.